the zodiacs are back i feel like i've took a little break since i did the sagittarius one it's been like i think it's been over a week now since i did the last one but we're back <laughs> to the zodiacs so we're obviously doing capricorn today this is the look that we've gone for i'm a bit shocked as well at the lip situation but it's fine so these are the kind of christmasy vibes apparently that we've gone for today so if you want to see how i did this makeup look see what products i use chat about capricorns subscribe if you want to if you don't fine. give the video a thumbs up as well and just keep watching okie dokie i kind of look like i've been punched by a tree but it's fine it'll look a lot better when we've got the eyeliner and shit on so i'm gonna be using the urban decay bond to run eyeshadow palette so same thing as always i'm gonna just go through the eyeshadow to show you what i'm using and then we'll have a chat when it gets to doing the face makeup it's actually a really simple eye look i've put some like glitter situation above there and stuff so it's it's all good so yeah let's get doing this capricorni vibes Okay, so that's the eyes pretty much done, I think. Okay. Let's do the face now. Hoodie vibes still. So, I thought, apart from the eyes, the, like, well, the eyeshadow palette, I thought I would try and keep it pretty affordable because... Capricorns like to save their money. I feel like they can be a bit stingy with money, you know. I feel like if you're a Capricorn, you know you are a bit stingy with your money. So I thought for the rest of, well, for all the face and stuff, just not the eyeshadow palette because that was the perfect palette to use. I thought we'd go pretty affordable, so. So that's what we're gonna do for the face. For primer, I'm gonna use the Catrice Fresh It Up Aqua Hydro, whatever the fuck, primer. <laughs> it's a really nice hydrating one. This is so affordable as well, like so, so affordable. Haven't actually moisturized either and I feel like when you use this primer, you literally don't even need to. Okay, for foundation, I really like this. So I'm gonna use this again. It's the Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation. Really, really like this one. I used it the other day, so we're gonna use it. And I'm gonna use it with a sponge. I strangely really thought that like I got more coverage when I used it with a sponge the other day like when I tested it, but probably just me. Capricorns, so this is the look that we've gone for obviously with the green and stuff. I feel like we went, I wanted to do something obviously very earthy, obviously Capricorns and earth sign. So I wanted to do something nice and earthy toned. Uh, we're gonna be very bold for the lips. I don't wanna like go super earthy because I feel like for like Taurus and for Virgo, I felt like I went pretty brown with those ones so I don't want to do like something just like 
boring and like just all brown or anything like that. I wanted to um, give a little excitement for you earth signs. You know, I don't want anyone coming for me like. Why did you give us the boring colors? So. I thought we'd do a bit of green, but still kind of keep it a bit earthy. I feel like this foundation is way too light for me. I think I'm, what I might do is, I might get like the deeper, the one shade up from this, because it's just, it's a bit too light. I mean, I can get away with it with a bit of bronzer. Let's stop branding. Uh, for concealer, I'm going to use the Flower Concealer. I think it's the, the Light Illusion Concealer. Yep, I love this. So, Capricorns for me, I personally love them. I get on with them really, really well. I know a few Capricorns. I grew up with a Capricorn um, boy that I used to be friends with and stuff. So, I, I like my Capricorns. I know a couple Capricorns and I get on with them really well. I love my earth signs, of course I do. So, um, yeah, I love what they're about. I love their stability and stuff like that. They are the actual goats. Okay, I know everyone like says this, it's like, I feel like it's like a sports kind of like phrase. I don't know when everyone's just like, oh, so-and-so is the goat. I honestly didn't know what that meant for such a long time. And I was like, what the fuck? Why are people calling each other goats? I was so confused. I thought it was an astrology reference and then realized it's not. But yeah, if you're a Capricorn, you are an actual goat. So that is the only way I would call someone a goat because I don't like that other phrase honestly need like some bronzer on my face right now that foundation is just not the right color um to set that i'm gonna use the revolution <laughs> setting powder it's the yellow one that i use i feel like i haven't done my one of my zodiac tutorials in a while i feel like it's been i feel like it's been a while since i did like what was before this the sagittarius one i think like I, I was like really good at doing like them every Friday and then all this shit happened with the universe and I just kind of forgot and then I was like doing other videos but we're back, we're back, we're back doing the Zodiacs so I've literally only got two more left, I'm really sad I've enjoyed doing this series because I love my astrology and we've just got Aquarius which is obviously going to be next and then we have Pisces to end with I'm just going to use my Physician's Formula Bronzer. My baby. Okay, we're going to bronze up hard because we clearly need it. Okay, I think we look a little better now. I think we look like we've had a bit of sun. For blush, I'm actually going to use a cream. Wait, I don't know if this brand is super affordable. I don't know. But we're going to use this. This is the Nabla Cream Blush in Maybe Baby. I wanted something kind of ready. I don't have that many like red or like rosy blushes. Yeah, I wanted something red because the birthstone for January is Garnet. I wanted something kind of red, but this is the closest I've got. I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of rosy, so we'll go with it. And this is like a really, really nice cream blush. I haven't really tried much stuff from this brand, but this is really nice. And you can use this blush on top of powders and stuff and it doesn't like smudge it doesn't like get patchy or anything like that it's super nice okay for highlight we're gonna put some effort in i'm gonna use the barry m baked highlight this is so good that this highlight is so nice honestly oh well, it's so nice okay are we ready for the lips i was scared to do this i still kind of don't want to do it but we're gonna go for a red lip because one, I haven't done a single red lip for this entire Zodiac series and I'm I'm actually disgraced with myself. Like I feel like I didn't do it for Aries because I was saving it for Leo and then for Leo I was like, oh, I'll just save it for Sagittarius, like doing all the fire signs and I never did it. So we're gonna do a red lip for Capricorn. You might be wondering why, you might be very confused, but like I said when I was just doing the blush that the birthstone for January, pretty sure it's January, it's either January or December, it's not December, it's not, okay, it's January, the January birthstone is Garnet, so we're going to do a red lip, uh, I don't know it, how this is going to go, I don't know if this is going to look like shit, it may, 
But honestly, as soon as I turn this camera off, I'm taking my makeup off. And I'm gonna go for a nap. So, it doesn't bother me if it looks like shit. I didn't even tell you what I'm using. I'm so great at life. It's the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit in Missy and Fizz. Don't understand the name. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm hoping that I've entertained you for a little bit if you are sat at home bored. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you're a Capricorn. Let me know if you enjoyed this situation. If you're pissed about the red lip, I'm sorry. I'm kind of pissed, but I'm kind of not. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.